Bristol Community College is thrilled with Governor Maura Healy's announcement today about the Massachusetts higher education budget that she has proposed. There are three pieces to this budget that are really important to Bristol Community College, but more importantly to our students and the citizens in our community. The first big piece of her budget is $20 million for the Mass Reconnect program. That's a program for adults who are 25 and older, older who have uh, some uh, background with college, maybe have taken a course or two or even more, but have yet to complete a degree. It gives them the opportunity to come back to college uh, free of charge at the community colleges here in Massachusetts and also get some additional support such as books and fees and other things that will help them be successful. Maybe you don't know this, but in Massachusetts, there are 1.8 million adults without a college degree. And of those 1.8 million, 700,000 have started college but has, haven't finished. So how wonderful it will be for Bristol uh, Community College uh, students and our citizens to be able to complete those uh, certificates or degrees right here at the college. The second part of Governor Healy's budget that is so important to us is early college and innovation pathways. This year, the governor is pledging an additional 14 million to these programs for a total of almost $47 million. Bristol Community College has been a leader in early college programming. We have programs right now with Durfee High School in Fall River, New Bedford High School, as well as Argosy uh, Collegiate Charter School in Fall River. And we are building new partnerships with these innovative pathways in STEM with, another, with a, additional uh, high, high schools. So uh, for example, Somerset Berkeley, Westport, Taunton, and Attleboro. Uh, so these dollars are so incredibly important because it helps us find talented young people who maybe don't have this idea of going to college. We give them college credits while they're in high school. We get, get them on a pathway and then they can come to Bristol Community College and complete that degree in a very timely manner. Uh, this is a wonderful and proven way to get students to college and to get them to graduate. The third part of the governor's higher education budget uh, that is also important to us is the success money. Uh, there's $18 million in the success budget and that has to do with supporting students through their college career. During the pandemic, we lost approximately 3,000 students at Bristol Community College. Students who had to leave to work to feed their families or be home uh, while their children were doing remote learning. Uh, we've been working very hard to bring those students back so that they can finish their certificates and degrees. We hired success coaches with this money and it helped us to work uh, individually with each student and their specific needs, whether it be transportation, childcare, books, food insecurity, all of those things that might become an obstacle for a student in coming back or completing their college career. Just last week I spoke with a student who told me that she wouldn't be graduating this spring if it weren't for her success coach. She had to be hospitalized during the semester and that coach worked with her faculty members, uh, kept her in touch with uh, what she needed to do and kept, kept her on track to getting her degree. She credits that success coach to her own success. And that's why this type of money, this type of funding, these type of people are important because without wraparound supports, our students may not be successful. So that's just a quick overview of the three main factors of the higher ed budget that were revealed today by Governor Healy, three factors that really, really make a big difference in the lives of Bristol Community College students.